Right guys, the next test is your insulation testing. It can be done with our insulation tester. This is a digital one, it's called the K3005A. You can go from 250 volts up until 1000 volts. Your insulation test, you must be very, very careful guys. Before you start the test or do anything, your mains must be switched off. Completely, there must be no power going to any of your circuits. Make that sure of it. The second step is to make sure all your circuits are in the closed position because you're going to test through them. When all that is done, you can take your tester, connect it to your earth bar if you want to test from the earth to your phase or from your neutral even, your supply neutral to your phase, depends on what you want to do. Connect it up there, switch your meter on. Remember, this is a single phase board. If you have a single phase, which is 230 volt, you must times it by 2. If it's a 5 to 5 volt, you must times it also by 2, then it's going to go to 1000 volt. So this is a single phase board, we're going to put it on 500 volts. It's connected to your earth or neutral bar, depends on what you want to test through. You can switch your meter on. Short out your leads to make sure your meter is working. And then you can start testing your phases. As you go along, it will give you a reading. And you can make sure all you Right guys, the next test is your elevated voltage on your incoming on your neutral, your main neutral. Most of the guys make the mistake of testing between your neutral and your earth bar in your main DB. They're both connected to the same point in your installation, so you won't pick up any differentials there or any voltage. The correct way actually to measure your elevated voltage on your incoming neutral, as per the code, is from your neutral to a extended earth that's not connected to your installation, like a door frame, a carport, a screwdriver in the ground, a lead in the ground. That's the correct way to test it to get the correct readings. You can use any multimeter or any voltage meter you've got. Here's the MT1003 again, which you can use. All you do is put it on your voltage. Go to your incoming neutral that's disconnected from your neutral bar. Put your lead against it. And obviously to external earth, like an earth spike, or the door frame, or the carport, or the screwdriver in the ground, or the lead in the ground, and get your readings from there. 